Greetings guys and gals, Sean Olson here. I'm going to show you how to use the new Brushify modifier in Wallworm and show you how it can help you uh, make your levels for Source in Wallworm in 3ds Max. So if you're not familiar with what a brush is, a brush is a certain type of geometry that's always convex and it has to have planar sides and it has to, have, it has to be set up a certain way it's for the Source Engine and other game engines that use what is called BSP technology. Traditionally, there are other editors that people build their world geometry in, and those are programs like WorldCraft and Hammer. Unbeknownst to many people, you can build those also inside of 3ds Max. There are some challenges, though, if you don't understand how the geometry must work. So the Brushify modifier helps you stay on task and, and keep things valid and correct with minimal fuss. First, I'm going to talk about polygons and triangulation real fast to show you the problem we're solving here and to show you how Brushify can help you. If I select a polygon in the scene and hit it edit triangulation you'll notice that it shows these dotted lines and these dotted lines are showing you how the the object is broken up into triangles. Now that's important because brush geometry is not defined by triangles it's only defined by planes. So this is what can get you in trouble if you're trying to make your brush geometry inside Max and you don't understand how these triangles affect your geometry. And you see this dotted line going over here. And what that means, if I move this vertex or this vertex, select this vertex here, and I'm going to bring it down, you'll notice that from this side here, as I go down further and further, it becomes more and more apparent. You can see that this object, that plane at the top is no longer planar, and it's now an invalid brush, because every, every side must be planar, and the object must be convex. And this fails on both of those fronts. And to manually fix this, what we would have to do is break our geometry from here to here, and I'd hit connect, and now, once I connected those, this now becomes two sides of this brush, and it now works correctly. I'm going to undo that, go back to the beginning state to show you how Brushify can help us here. So I'm going to add on top of this a Brushify modifier. And I'm going to make sure that I have this Turn Concave Polys on and Auto Edge on. Now I'm going to go back down the stack and hit Show and Results so I can see the end here. I'm going to go to the Vertex level. And so that my UVs don't stretch here, I'm going to turn on over here Preserve UVs. So now, notice what happens to the geometry as I bring this down. It automatically breaks it and makes this concave. Now if I go over here to this vertex and if I want to bring it down, at a certain point it will become planar and then at a certain point it breaks and now makes it on this side. So it takes away the effort for you to have to go in and break things manually every time that you need to keep it uh, uh, valid for being a brush and brush geometry. The other thing here is that because I have snap to grid on, every time I move this vertex, the vertex will actually end up at the end on a grid point. So even though right now you can see, if I zoom in here, the vertex at this level in the stack is down here. However, you can see that because the show and results is on, the geometry actually snaps up here to the a point that is on the grid. And that's important for brush geometry. The next thing we're going to discuss here is another feature called slice planes. Let's go back up to the Brushify modifier. And we're going to turn on a, we're going to create a slice plane. When it created this object, it made a slice plane. I'm going to double click the slice plane. And now I have it selected. And now notice, as I move up and down, the slice plane is going to cut our geometry. And we're not seeing it because I don't have edged facing on, so I'm going to turn on edge facing here. 
and now you can see that as I move this slice plane up and down it's now cutting the geometry so I want to align this uh, slice plane to uh, a specific face so I'm just going to place it right on the top of this so basically I want it so it slices across so it breaks up this other piece over here on this side so one reason you do that is because um, it, for brush geometry in order to have a new material over here on this piece we might have to break it up to add a different material onto this face and it would create in the game three different brushes here one two three because this would be a separate brush than this I'm going to go over here and select this object and now I'm going to add a brush fine modifier to it and I want it to also use a slice plane because perhaps I need the same material that goes along here on all of these so I can just hit pick slice plane I'm going to choose the other object and it's going to get all of its slice planes. So now this object is also controlled by the same slice plane. In fact, if I double click and choose that slice plane, now if I move it, that slice plane is now slicing both of these geometry. And if I need to, I could rotate this slice plane to strange angles. Um, you know, if I need to do something like that and have the same object the same slice plane uh, control and affect multiple objects at once and this is an object in the scene so you can always pick it move it rotate it as you need and not have to go in any sub object mode and, and do any slicing you can have multiple slice planes I'm going to go ahead and pick or create another slice plane and now you can see that it has two slice planes that are affecting it and if I go back to the other geometry if I need it also I can pick that other slice plane and now that second slice plane is also controlling this one and by default they get linked so if I move the bottom one the top one will follow and uh, you can change this by unlinking them with the standard max tools for the most part brushify will solve most of the issues and keep your geometry really clean however when you use the slice planes it does have a tendency to create extra vertices along the slice plane edges and we want to get rid of those. If you have a plugin by Wolwim called Carver, there's a cleaning utility that this plugs into. So I click this button here, it's going to clean it and get it ready for game and now it's just ready to go. If I collapse this completely now and go look at any of the vertexes, any of the vertices, you'll see that every vertex is aligned to the world grid you see down here. So everyone we select it's going to be aligned because the brush five modifier kept them all aligned to the grid um, you're going to see that it's all safe geometry for exporting into the gear into the game engine um, this is composed of four uh, convex elements that the game engine will accept as long as you have it set up to export as what's called a concave brush with wallworm my name is sean olson hope this has been helpful and educational and I hope it helps you solve some of your creative challenges in the future. You can learn more about me at my website, SeanOlson.net. And you can always get the latest versions of Wallworm and the Wallworm plugin, such as Brushify, at Wallworm.com. Thank you, and have a good day.